Hi there guys, this is your friend and tutor Manus. Of late I've been getting a lot of messages on YouTube and Facebook to develop content on orthographic views. And let me tell you guys the wait is finally over as I'm going to upload content in this regard for the next few weeks starting from today. Now, Before watching this video, I would recommend all of you to watch my video on orthographic projections and introduction as it is going to give you a very clear picture as to what orthographic projection is all about. What is first angle projection? What is third angle projection? What are the symbols? What are the differences between these two kinds of projection systems? If you want to see that video tutorial, there is a link down below in the description. Okay, now let's get started with this orthographic projection. Now here we will be converting a 3D view into multiple 2D views that is you are going to be getting a front view, top view and side view. That side view could either be a right hand side view or a left hand side view. And as far as this particular question is concerned we are going to be making a right hand side view. Okay. So let's get started. Okay guys. Uh, so this is the object that we are going to be dealing with. So this is going to be for the front view. This is going to be the right hand side view and over here we will have the top view. Okay. So let's get started and initially we are going to be drawing an XY line. So this is going to be the XY line and let us say that this object is at a height of 1 cm above the horizontal plane and 1 cm in front of the vertical plane. So let's give it some height 1 cm that is 10 mm obviously and again down below also 10 mm that's it fine. Now let's work out this over here when you look at this object from the front we are going to be having a front view above this xy line as this represents a vertical plane and below this xy line we will be having the top view. Now when you speak of front view this is the portion that you are going to see this portion. Please see where the mouse is hovering. This is the portion that you are going to see. Apart from that you are going to be seeing this portion also. Okay. So let's see what this length is. This is 40. This over here is 30. So let's start from this point. Okay. So this point corresponds to this point and we are going to go 40 millimeters right hand side. That's it. And now we're gonna go 30 millimeters above. Let's go there 30 millimeters above. Fine. And then towards the right hand side by 15 millimeters. 15, 1, 5. All right. And then you can join this point with this point. Okay. Something like this will happen. That's it. So this much portion we have drawn. This much portion. Okay. Now, when you look at this object from here, you, you'll realize that this height has been given as 15 millimeters okay so this height has to be given as 15 so from this point we're gonna go 15 millimeters above and what about this guys this line no length has been given but from the front it will appear as if this line is joining with this edge over here okay okay so let's do that that's it so the front view is done okay now guys uh, we're gonna work on the top view and this portion you see this sort of these edges you see are going to be pretty close to the vertical plane and the distance that I have taken is one centimeter away from the vertical plane. Okay. So we're going to be starting from this portion over here. Okay. So we're going to go travel by an amount of 15 then over here. Ultimately this entire zigzag line you see will appear as a line of 40 millimeters will appear as a line of 40 millimeters. That's it. So we're going to be starting off by drawing this line 40 millimeters something like this. Okay. And then this portion you see this portion is 30 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and draw this 30. That's it. Let's finish this. And this is again going to be 40 and let's finish this. That's it. This is exactly what you're going to see from the top. But this portion you see this edge over here. This also be has to be given some respect. And for that what I'm going to do is this point, this point, this point and this point. So starting from this point I'm going to project a line down below and this is the portion that you're going to see from the top. That's it. Okay. And finally, you can also see that this portion is there. Okay. This portion is also there. So this is going to be 15 and this is obviously we don't have any data regarding this dimension. So what we're going to be doing is and we're going to be taking this line and we're going to go travel a distance of this much, this one amount. This is 15. So this also is going to be 15 and let us then close this down. That's it. That's it. Okay. So these are the front and top views. And let us darken the portion which we are going to be able to see. That's it. So that's the front view. This over here represents the top view. Okay. And this portion also has to be darkened I suppose. Yeah. Alright guys. That's the top view. That's the front view. We are now going to go ahead and make the right hand side view. And for that we are going to be looking at this object from this side. That is the right hand side. Although it's 
right hand side view is going to be drawn over here that is towards the left of this front view all right and for that some construction has to be carried out i'm going to draw one more line okay and let me slightly extend this line towards the left this is the reference line or xy line so over here we have the vertical plane in which this front view has been made so this over here represents the top view made in the horizontal plane and this over here represents this side plane or you can also refer to this as a profile plane okay now let's get started with the side view and for that i'm going to be looking at this object from over here that is from the right hand side and let us draw these so-called projector lines something like this that's it and the next step is to rotate these lines by an angle of 45 degrees so let me show you how that can be done let me extend these lines so that they meet this xy line that's it okay now let us draw these lines over here and vertical lines from over here that's it that's it let's draw horizontal lines from the right of your screen towards the left and finally from here also okay now the portion which you will be able to see from this um, right hand side is this this line will appear here this line will appear here this zigzag line will appear here and this edge is clearly visible from this point to this point all right so let's darken that portion and give it some thickness all right now this portion can also be seen okay so we, can, we are now going to go ahead and darken that portion also all right so let's do this orthographic view creation is absolutely done no issues now we're gonna go ahead and provide it some dimensions so this has been this is 30 this is 30 and that's 15 okay let's go ahead and provide that dimension also that's 15 all right and uh, that's 15 this is 15 this height is also 15 so let's go ahead and do that that's it this distance now this distance you see this is something that can be seen from the top okay so we are now going to go ahead and provide it this distance that's not the distance i'm talking about um this is going to be 15 all right what is left this 40 is left all right so you can give this dimension over here that's it so this over here represents a distance of 30 millimeters so let's go ahead and do that also so starting from this point to this point we have this as 30 millimeters all right so guys that was all from my side for today and let me tell you i'll be uploading a lot of content based on problems for orthographic prediction in the upcoming weeks until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing